Good morning friends, welcome to another video. So, what a gorgeous morning it is here in Western Washington. And the goal of today is I'm going out without my tripod. I'm just gonna take the camera, I've got my 70 to 200 lens on, and I'm gonna see what I can get without lugging a tripod around and see what this camera can do. I've heard quite a lot about the image stabilization in both the camera and the lens that I've got, and we'll see We'll see what I can do. The light is uh, light's good, so you know everything's going to be handheld, and I'll, uh, I'll hopefully come up with a composition. The, the, it is a gorgeous morning. The fog is just starting to lift here, and I can't wait to get started. So let's go. Over my shoulder is the Snoqualmie River, just gorgeous. These kind of gorgeous mornings are not all that common here in Western Washington. So you've really got to make the most when you get a lovely morning like this morning and get out. It didn't require much motivation to, to get going this morning. So I've read a lot about the image stabilization in this thing. Five stops and which I didn't know what that meant. And I found out though. And what it means is if you can hand if you can hand hold an image at say one one hundredth of a second, you can go down five stops to whatever that is, a quarter of a second or something, and hand hold it and get the same results. So that's pretty impressive. So now the light's really good here today. So I might be able to get away with a high shutter speed anyway. But I will try and find some, some shots where perhaps it would be difficult to get a clear shot handheld uh, and see how it does. I can tell you now, it <laughs> already it feels quite liberating to not carry a big pack with a massive tripod. feels like I'm just out for a stroll as opposed to a slog which it can sometimes be when I'm carrying 30 pounds of camera and gear so I'm on this trail right now I don't really know where it goes it, it follows the river but you can't quite see the river right now if the situation oops I changed my hand here if the situation uh, works out well I might uh, try the eye detection on the R5 as well and give that a shot. I've, I know it's impressive because I've tried it already, but uh, I can maybe show you guys how, just how good it is if we see some wildlife. Ah. The fog is just all gone in 20 minutes. I just mistimed it. It was so thick when I left home. I thought it would stick around for most of the morning, but it hasn't. So my low light shots I was hoping for are probably not gonna happen today. We'll see, it, it's, it might roll back in again. You never know, but it's not looking good right now.
these awesome plans and <laughs> as, as is often the case they just don't work sometimes um, well at least there's some nice drone shots <laughs> if nothing else but I, I've got my camera ready just in case I see something maybe some wildlife I got it right here um, so I can quickly take a shot um, handheld of course but in terms of good compositions and low light and fog sorry about that in terms of good compositions low light fog it's just not it's not happening I'm kind of bummed it's, it's out there but it's not here so I do have this handy dandy little strap thing where it connects by a I don't know if you can see that let me put it in the sun here um, it screws into the bottom of the camera right there and it's great so it's got like a quick release not a quick release it's like a you know you can pick the camera up put it down you don't have to hand hold the camera the whole time so that's kind of a handy little thing but unfortunately there is just nothing the fog's just gone it's all gone and I don't see any wildlife either so hmm detail and the sun shining on the the water droplets on the the cobweb itself looked really great although it caught my eye as I was walking by so I took a couple of shots um, one f11 and that was 1 30th of a second handheld obviously and I tried an f2.8 uh, just to see what that would look like with the, uh, the the background blurring out so I'll put both of those up take a look I thought it was a nice image Morning. <laughs> I left my mask in the car. <sighs> I'd like to I'd like to thank you all for following this uh, YouTube channel, <laughs> and to hit 500 subscribers is amazing. I can't believe that. That's that's phenomenal. If you've been watching any of my videos, you'll you'll know this is not about technical camera um, specs and reviews and anything like that. It's just my my attempt to bring you along oops, to show you what what I'm doing. Take us to some really beautiful locations, just Death Valley and Zion and places like that, Mount Rainier and hopefully in some way inspire you to get out there and shoot something um, so anyway thanks to everyone who's been following this channel and if you like this kind of thing and this kind of style then uh, give me give me a like that'd be great send a comment good and bad it's all good i always try and respond um, uh, anyway so that's it thanks so much for watching this one and hopefully we'll see you on the next one pretty soon. Bye for now.